the Tarsan 3 University video guide. The idea for this guide is just to speak through some of the tactics that people and planet activists have found to be really useful in previous campaigns. If you want more information about any of the points raised in the video, then do have a look at the PMP website. Of course, if you have your own ideas, that's absolutely fantastic. Do get as creative as you can with your campaign. From an international perspective, there's a lot that's going on with the tar sands. We've just had the mass protest in the US against the Keystone XL pipeline. And we've got in October the Beaver Lake Cree Nation who are taking some of the biggest oil companies to court over their treaty rights. In the UK, of course, we have the banks. We've got the Royal Bank of Scotland and the West who are financing the extraction of the So this is really where we can exert our pressure. This is what Tar Sands for University Standard is all about, boycotting those banks. So your university does not bank with them, they do not market directly to or recruit from the student body at your university. And there's really one way to go about that, and that's to set a motion through the student union. Again, there's more information on the PE website about that. Uh, there's lots of universities who have been doing really interesting work around that, for example, the University of Edinburgh and Manchester. Um, but, you know, if you find that um, the student union maybe isn't quite as receptive to this as you may have hoped, don't be despaired by this. You know, it's all about getting out there and informing the students. So, stenciling, you know, chalking on walls, on, on the ground, you know, they're very creative, artistic ways to engage with students. Petitions are incredible. This will ultimately put pressure on the students' union. But of course, to make this effective, you will need to build your activist base. So before you work out the details of your campaign, you'll need to build an activist base. One of the first things you can do to achieve this is to set up a stall at your university, talk to people and collect their contact details. With the contact details of your potential activists, you can set up an email list. RiseUp.net will give you one of these for free. From there, you can advertise an event, be it a talk, a film screening, or just a general meeting. Don't worry if not everyone turns up on the first go. After a while, you'll build up a small, close group of enthusiastic activists. Film screenings are a great way of improving your activist base on campus, especially just after Freshers' Week to keep the momentum going with the campaign. Um, you can combine uh, film events with speakers, so one of us from the Beaver Lake Cree Solidarity Exchange can come and talk at your uni. Uh, there are several short films you can show, um, they're in the campaign packs, and if you want the feature length film Dirty Oil, please email tarsands at peopleandplanet.org. Taking on Tarmageddon will also be coming out in early 2012, so make sure you book that in. Film screenings are also a really good way of raising much needed cash. You can ask people to pay what they can rather than putting a set price on it um, and that way people feel more comfortable to donate. Um, offering free popcorn is always a great way of bringing people along because it's really cheap and tasty. Um, also baking, uh, cookies and cakes is a really good way of fundraising too. If you're looking for a way to get people talking about the tar sands and uh, want to raise a little bit of extra cash for the campaign while you're at it, cake and cookies will go a long way. I'm baking up a vegan specialty, bitumen biscuits. They're animal free, double chocolatey, and described by some of their past consumers as the best cookies ever made. Even if they do come out of the oven looking a little, little bit tar-like sometimes. At People and Planet Summer Gathering this past June, we held a tar sands free bake sale. We sold some bitumen biscuits, some Fort McCakes, some Tar Sands tarts. Raised about 50 quid in, uh, in about an hour selling, uh, selling biscuits and cakes to, uh, to the 40 or 50 activists that were there, taking the opportunity to talk to each of them about the Tar Sands along the way. Bitumen biscuits are vegan, they're delicious, and they're, uh, they're actually pretty simple to make. Uh, combination of flour, sunflower oil, cocoa powder, baking powder, vanilla, and some vegan baking chocolate. It's pretty much all you need. If you want to do a Tar Sands free bake sale at your school, university, or college, you can find recipes like this one on the People and Planet website or in your Tar Sands free campaign action kit. 
There are lots of things that you can do to raise money for the tar sands. One crazy member in our group decided it would be a great idea to ride from Paris to Barcelona and it took him nearly four weeks to complete. We're going to do a 950 mile cycle. First day is 60 miles to Fontainebleau along the Seine and we're doing this to raise money for People and Planet Trust. This same person is all also planning to do a marathon and do lots of runs. Um, running is a great uh, way of raising money, but I don't think I'll be able to run a marathon just yet. We're also planning to do a hike of Snowdonia, but there are lots of other things that you can do that don't require a lot of physical exertion. Things like having a dinner party or friends is a great way to raise money, because not only do they get a lovely tasty meal out of it, you get lots of money to help fight the tar sands. So be creative and be imaginative, um, there are plenty of ways to help fight the tar sands. This is me, Rick. Why do I look so sad? Well, I'm about to be tarred and feathered by an oil executive to teach me a lesson for trying to stop the tar sands. Let this send a clear, clear message to all of those who feel that there are things greater than profit in this world. Luckily, it's just treacle. I recommend you don't use real tar. I understand the pain is unbearable. Anyway, getting tarred and feathered, as used to happen to criminals in previous eras, is just one of the ways you can raise awareness of the biggest issue facing the planet today. With a handful of activists and a few ideas, you can stop people in their tracks and make them realise there's more to life than just binge drinking and gossip girl. Reindeer populations are threatened by the tar sands. Why not dress up as a reindeer for Christmas and visit your local petrol station, as some of our friends did last year. Or come up with an even better idea and impress everyone with your original thinking. Either way, there's thousands of people at your uni who've never even heard of tar sands. Find them, draw their attention, and let them know what they can do to help in the struggle against unscrupulous oil companies. <laughs>